do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied collision theory and it was based on colliding of molecules with proper orientation and should possess the energy to make the product that is known as energy of activation and related to this there is a new equation that we are going to see that is known as arrhenius equation so let us see how it has been derived so for a reaction to be occurring we should know that the reactive molecules will collide with each other but it is not necessary that all the reactant will collide with each other only the fraction of molecules will collide with each other with a proper orientation and will possess a particular energy of activation and that will lead to the formation of product so let us see that what are the possibilities that could lead us to do a particular reactant to convert into a product so let us see the reaction to be occurring when collide with each other the fraction of collision that possess activation energy is given by the formula f is equals to e that is exponent raised to minus ea that is energy of activation divided by r into t so in this consider a reaction that is a plus b c that should give you a b plus c as the product so in this case if they are colliding with each other with a particular rate or with a particular speed then the rate of collision is given by the formula collision rate is equals to z concentration of a into concentration of b into c that is the concentration of reactants in which z is nothing but the collision frequency so the rate of the reaction is given by the formula as we know that the reaction rate is equals to p into f into collision rate where f is known as fraction of collision with sufficient ea that we have did in earlier equation that is this one so moving further then we have got to know that the p is nothing but the fraction of collision with proper orientation so there are a possibility or there will be a fraction of molecule that would collide with each other at a particular rate at a particular energy of activation and should possess a proper orientation collision between the two colliding particles that is the two colliding reactants and in this case is a plus bc so they will collide with each other and then only the formation of product will occur so but we also know that the rate of reaction can be represented by the reaction rate is equals to k into that is rate constant into concentration of a into concentration of b and c that is bc so earlier also we have got an rate a uh, reaction rate which was reaction rate is equals to p into f into collision rate and recently we have got reaction rate is equals to k into concentration of a into concentration of bc so what we are going to do is now we are going to compare this two equation and let's see what we get so we have got the rate constant k into concentration of a into concentration of bc is equals to p into f into z into concentration of a into concentration of bc so this concentration of reactants will cancel out each other and the thing will left is k is equals to p into f into z but we have initially calculated a formula that is f is equals to e that is exponent raised to minus ea upon rt this minus ea upon rt is nothing but the energy of activation so by this formula we have got k is equals to p into z into exponent of minus ea upon rt so let us consider because the p and z the both are the constant value or both are the factors that depend on the proper orientation and uh, the frequency factor so therefore we will multiply uh, both of them and we'll get the value of a the a is nothing but a frequency factor when we will multiply p into z so the formula that we have got is k is equals to a into exponent of minus ea upon rt 
बट दिस इज रिलेटेड टू ओनली वन टेम्परेचर एंड दिस फॉर्मूला कैन बी इवेलेटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए लॉगेरिज्म ऑल्सो सो हाउ कैन वी डू दैट so by applying the log natural log on both the side we have got natural log of k is equals to natural log of a minus ea upon rt so but as we know that the reaction rate also changes with temperature as the temperature increases the possibility of collision will also increase and this possibility or this collision will head towards the higher rate of reaction and hence the rate of reaction depends on the temperature also so suppose if i consider a reaction in which the value of the rate constant is k1 at temperature t1 and another reaction having a different having the same reaction but in different uh, condition like uh, considering the value of rate constant k2 at temperature t2 so what will happen so this formula that we have got that is log of natural log of k is equals to natural log of a minus e upon rt will be now converted to natural log of k1 into natural log of a and let me tell you this a is nothing but the pre exponent factor or we can say as frequency factor so this remains constant throughout the reaction therefore we have not named it as a1 so natural log of a minus ea divided by r t1 so let me tell you this ea that is energy of activation is also not being changed because the energy of activation remains the same throughout the reaction the only thing that changes according to the temperature is the rate constant if the temperature changes then the rate constant can also be changed and but the a value that is the frequency factor and the energy of activation will not change when we increase the temperature or when we decrease the temperature so let us consider the another example or another factor uh, or another criteria that we have took when we have taken log of k2 which is equals to log of a minus ea divided by rt2 a different condition that we have uh, mentioned here so what we are going to do is we are going to subtract this two equations that is we will subtract b with equation a so we'll get natural log of k2 minus natural log of k1 which is equals to minus of ea rt2 because we are subtracting k2 with k1 so minus of ea divided by rt2 minus of minus which means plus ea divided by rt1 so we can arrange this equation as natural log of k2 minus natural log of k1 which is equals to ea divided by rt1 minus ea divided by rt2 so since this both are subtracting each other this log i could write it in a division manner that is log of k2 divided by log of uh, that is log of k2 divided by k1 which is equals to ea upon r i have taken it as common so minus 1 upon t1 uh, so 1 upon t1 minus 1 upon t2 will give you an answer of uh, will give you a final equation of log of k2 divided by k1 is equals to ea divided by 2.303 again let me tell you in this case the natural log is been converted into a log so therefore what we will get is the log to the base ten of k2 divided by k1 which is equals to ea divided by 2.303 r into t2 minus t1 divided by t1 dot t2 so this equation is nothing but the arrhenius equation that we have got for two temperatures or for two condition of temperature which can change the rate constant value and hence the rate constant value if get increased the rate of the reaction will also be increased so this was all based on how we have derived the arrhenius equation so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got to know that how the arrhenius equation has been derived and please let this video share with your friends too and thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe egida channel thank you